like a vision you could see. Number 1. 1972 Lincoln Set, Double Diabers. This Lincoln Set, which was minted in Philadelphia, is widely available in circulation, and each coin is worth up to $3,500. It is easily identified, as the words in God we trust, Liberty and 1972, on the front of the coin has a strong doubling. There are over 10 different double dies for this 1972 Lincoln set, but only this type is considered major. It is also very popular with coin collectors, as the detail is strong enough to see with the naked eye. The coin sold for a record $14,400 at the Long Beach Expo Coin Signature Auction in June 2019. Almost 3 billion Lincoln cents were minted in Philadelphia in 1972, and are in circulation. Number 2. 1972 Kennedy Half Dollar, No FG Initials. This rare Kennedy Half Dollar coin, minted in Denver, is worth up to $1,000 because a small percentage of those produced, were not imprinted with the designer initials, FG for Frank Gasparo. They were supposed to appear on the reverse of the coin, between the eagle left leg and the tail. While it appears to be a mistake, on the engraver part, it is more likely that the dies were ground down, to remove clash marks, and in the process, the initials were erased. This variety was discovered in 1983, and it remains presently very rare to this day. It sold for a record, $2,485 at the Long Beach Expo Coins, signature auction in September 2016. There were 141 million Kennedy half-dollar coins, minted in Denver, in 1972 and they are in circulation. Number 3. 1982 Roosevelt Dime, Missing the Mark. These Roosevelt Dime coins minted in Philadelphia, are worth a thousand times their original face value, because they are missing the P-mint mark. The mistake was originally discovered in December 1982, and most of the coins were initially found in Sandusky, Ohio, where approximately 8,000 to 10,000 coins were reportedly discovered. It is the first and only business strike coin, which left the U.S. Mint, without containing its intended mint mark, on the front of the coin. This coin sold for a record $2,185 in just May 2004. At least 226 million Roosevelt Dime coins were minted in Philadelphia in 1982, and they are in circulation today. Number 4. 2004, Washington Quarter, Extra Leaf High Reverse. The 2004, Washington Quarter, minted in Wisconsin, is readily available as there are millions in circulation. The design on the reverse features a cow, cheese wheel, and an ear of corn, and on some coins there is an extra leaf on the side of the corn. Two different varieties were discovered, one where the leaf hangs high, and another where it droops low. The high leaf variety is the more rare of the two, and it is worth around $100. This variety was discovered late in December 2004, by Robert Ford and the coins made the news, with people all over the country out searching for them. There were reports of people, finding up to hundreds of them from bank wrapped rolls, making it seem as if they were abundant. The auction record for this coin is $6,000, and it sold in Orlando, Florida in January 2020. Number 5. 1995, Lincoln Cents, Double Diabers. The 1995, Double Guy Lincoln Cent minted in Philadelphia, is worth around $50, and it is the last of its kind, because mints began using a single hub technique, which would only strike all dies once. The doubling of letters, can be seen clearly in the world liberty, mostly in the letters. When the coins were initially discovered, they were commanding as much as $300 for each raw example. As time went by, many more examples were discovered, and the prices dropped. They are easily affordable and anyone can get their hands on it. It sold for a record $5,053 in just Fort Lauderdale, Florida back in January 2017. A total of 6.4 billion of these coins were produced at the Philadelphia in 1995. For those who are not lucky enough to stumble upon these rare coins in their loose change, 
Coin roll hunting is a good starting point to get your hands on them. It is the process of searching through rolls of coins, usually obtained from banks, to find rare and valuable coins. Coin roll hunting is a good starting point for those who are looking to get into collecting rare coins. It costs $23 to get coins, worth up to $300 valued at the professional coin grading service, and $40 for coins worth up to $2,500 at 